Welcome back to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more fascinating journeys like this one. We start our journey with something quite ordinary toilet paper. We all use it every single day. But have you ever stopped to think about how it's made? It's a fascinating journey from towering trees to the soft rolls we use in our homes. Let's take a trip to a modern toilet paper factory and see the process unfold. It all begins with raw materials, primarily trees. These aren't just any trees, mind you, but specifically chosen ones like softwood and hardwood trees. These trees are carefully harvested from sustainably managed forests. That means new trees are planted to replace the ones that are cut down. This ensures we have a continuous supply for the future. The trees are then transported to the factory, where the real magic begins. The first step is to turn those hard logs into a soft, mushy substance called pulp. This is done using powerful machines called grinders and digesters. The grinders break down the wood into small chips, which are then cooked in large digesters with chemicals. This process dissolves the lignin, the substance that holds wood fibers together, leaving behind a slurry of cellulose fibers, the building blocks of our toilet paper. Section 4, white as snow, soft as... Well, you know, this pulp, however, is still brown and rough. To make it white and soft, it undergoes a bleaching and refining process. Bleaching removes any remaining color while refining further breaks down the fibers, making them softer and smoother. Modern factories use environmentally friendly bleaching agents like hydrogen peroxide or ozone, minimizing their impact on the environment. Section 5. Roll up. From pulp to paper. Now comes the exciting part turning the pulp into those familiar rolls. The refined pulp is mixed with water and then sprayed onto a fast-moving wire mesh. As the water drains away, the fibers bond together, forming a continuous sheet of paper. This sheet is then dried, pressed to the desired thickness, and finally wound onto giant rolls. These rolls are then cut into smaller rolls of various sizes, ready to be packaged and shipped to stores around the world.